show you what happens when a head goes bad on the page winds. Initially a customer may get a message that says uh, receipt print head or sometimes it can be preceded with a 040, 02, uh, 0254 um, or sometimes it varies a little bit, but basically it'll say like a voltage leak or a voltage error. Um, and then if the customer actually does try to receive the print head, um, it can trigger error messages on the other heads. So I wanted to show you what happens. If you go to the ink menu, you'll see that multiple heads are highlighted in red. Although the error code in this um, particular instance was head number two had a voltage error and it was pointing to the head PCA um, but I think it's only because of a bad head so what I did was I took the number two head and moved it to number eight and in the process it looks like the customer had also reseated some of the heads or at least opened the latches so when that happens it causes a red X on each head that was opened and it doesn't mean that those heads are bad it just means that those heads were not able to complete the print head replacement procedure so you can you can open up each one of the heads and you can find which head is giving you trouble so if we go into head one it's not actually an error it's just saying that the head was not able to complete the replacement and these rest of these are just replacement errors. Now, the bad head was originally in two and I moved it to eight. So number three is the same thing, replacement incomplete. But if we go to head number eight, it says receipt required. So that is a sign that the head is bad. So the first thing you guys should do is go to the print head information screen and try to find the head that is getting the actual error message that says receipt and then move the head to another position and see if that receipt message moves with the head. If it does then that's a pretty clear indication the head is bad and if it's under warranty then you need to call HP at that point get a case started. They'll ask you to probably download the diagnostic logs um, using a USB drive um, and then send that to HP and explain to them that you need to get the customer up and running and you're going to go ahead and use one of your heads to replace the bad one. And then um, HP will send a new head out, out to you and they will ask you to send the bad one back to them and then you can just put the new head in back in stock. So just wanted to make sure I share this with you because um, the first couple times I've seen this, you, um, I got a, you know, you kind of get a, a sense of panic because you see all these heads with red X's on it, and you think like there's a major issue with the machine, but there's actually just one head that's bad, and the other messages are just um, triggered by the bad head. Um, so, just uh, keep that in mind. Thanks.